House Bill 338, an act relating to the Kentucky Educational Excellence Scholarship Program. Representative Lawrence. General from McCracken. Mr. Speaker, I yield to the gentleman from Mason 70 for explanation of the bill and motion thereon. Chair recognizes the gentleman from Mason for explanation of the bill and a motion thereon. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move for passage of House Bill 338. motion is for the adoption of House Bill 338. Is there any discussion? Chair recognizes the gentleman from Lincoln 80 for discussion of the matter. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Gentleman Mason, I appreciate uh, you very much. And uh, we had a good conversation last night and had some good times joking around. And uh, I have to give you props where props should do. I did not think you would take me up on my dare to go ahead and move the bill as soon as you stood up. <laughs> so, Mr. Speaker, would the gentleman yield to a question? He will yield. Gentleman Mason, would you care to explain what the bill does? <laughs> gentleman from Mason. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, I would, and I'd also like to point out that the speaker now owes me $20. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of order, sir. <laughs> Clerk, could you please write that down for me? <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, speaker. Um, in good fun, House Bill 338 is a keys money bill. This will allow students uh, to take their keys money and utilize it at, uh, say, trade schools that are under the proprietary board. We've put some, we, it's a very simple bill. We're not trying to rework the wheel here. Um, I just want to add trade schools to uh, eligible, um, I'm sorry, facilities that are eligible to use, utilize the keys fund. Uh, these schools would have to have been open for five years and need to be based in the state of Kentucky. My uh, main purpose with this bill is just to open up opportunities for students to utilize their keys money and to have more opportunities to grow their education and their skill force. And if there is no further questions, I would move for passage of House Bill 338. 